Hello friends, welcome to Art and Math Time with Mrs. Idis. Today we're going to be learning about the cute little creature called a seahorse. Oh my goodness. You're going to need your turquoise background paper, your seahorse, and of course your yellow strip of paper. But before we do that, and the Symphonic Seahorse Edition Facts, we're going to take a look at a story. Now, I don't have a seahorse page in my Moonlight Ocean book, but I do have this very cute story called One Lonely Seahorse. Take a look at how these beautiful pictures are made. They're actually pictures of vegetables and mushrooms and fruits. Maybe you can identify some of these fruits and vegetables while we read the story. Let's begin. One Lonely Seahorse by Arthur A. Levine. Okay. Beneath the ocean deep and wide, one lonely drifting seahorse cried, in all the cold and salty sea, I'm all alone. There's only me. Her name was B, and B was blue. And as she cried, her sadness grew. Two, we'll be your friends. You're not alone, called two small crabs by a big round stone. Look how she can camouflage so nicely. Three puffer fish came from behind. We'll join you too, if you don't mind. Four lobsters down below called, hey, you're our pal too. Come on, let's play. Five turtles circled B to say, can we help out in any way? Six playful dolphins then arrived. Hey, B, they called, let's leap and dive. Seven eels said, what a shock, you're so unhappy. We should talk. Eight, an octopus said, we're here too. All eight of us have hugs for you. Nine mackerel then came swimming by. You feel lonely? Tell us why. A school of angelfish appeared. Ten little voices laughed and cheered. You are my friend, said B. That's true, and I can always count on you. Wow, what a sweet story. We counted from one to ten with all of the sea animals. So friends, I'd like you to see here a picture of a real seahorse. Take a look, look at its colors. Look how it even has scaly patterns. This seahorse has camouflaged itself, kind of like the seafloor, this yellowish with beige. Take a look at this seahorse. Now this one's really hard to see. Can you find it hiding? in the coral. There it is. Wow, it got bumpy and pink and white, just like the coral. You could see its eye right there. Look how its tail is wrapped around the seaweed so it doesn't float away. Wow, seahorses are really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our seahorse page. We have our turquoise and our yellow strip of sand. Let's go ahead. We're going to glue that down first. You know what to do. Glue on the sides, glue across the middle, line it up corner to corner, and glue it down. Very nice. Press, press, press. Let's get our brown and make those little speckles of sand across the bottom. Excellent. Let's go ahead and make some sea stars. Any color you like. 
You can even switch up the color if you want to. Make some all around. You can make three or four or five. It's totally up to you. All right, so fun. Now let's get our green and let's put some seaweed. Yes, because seahorses like to wrap their tails around seaweed so they don't float away. We can get our light green. You'll be able to see the light green a lot better when you're doing your project at home than probably you can see on my video. But we will see the white crayon. Let's make some bubbles, bubbles. Different sizes. Let's do three on each side. Yay! All right, we are ready for our seahorse. So let's go ahead and think of a color you might like for your seahorse. Maybe you want a yellow seahorse with different kinds of scales and ridges throughout. Maybe you want a purple seahorse or a beige seahorse or one that has white and red like in the picture. You can choose whatever kind of seahorse you like. I think I'm going to go for this greenish yellow seahorse like I saw in the book. So friends, here's what we're gonna do. I'd like you to peel your crayon so that we can do a flat rubbing color like we had done before when we did leaf rubbings. All right, if you need a grown up to help you, you can pause the video and ask your grown-up to help you peel a crayon. I know it's tricky. I'm having a hard time too. So gently peel off the crayon cover. Good job. <laughs> Do your best. You don't have to get too much off. Just enough for a rubbing. All right. It takes a little bit of patience, doesn't it? Okay, this is enough for me to do a rubbing. So now we're going to put our crayon flat and we're going to rub, 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 press down and rub, rub, rub your crayon. And it does not have to be perfectly inside of the lines because, friends, we will be cutting the seahorse out. Good job. Rub, 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 rub. If you are on a table with maybe a texture, you might see some of the texture coming out on your seahorse. Good job, friends. You can get it as light or as dark as you want. I think that's pretty good for me. Okay, now I'm gonna get some other colors. You can get any colors you like. And I'm gonna add some wiggly, wiggly ridges along its body. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Very neat. Good. Very nice. I'm going to get another color. And I'm gonna put some details in the fins. Yes any kind of details you like to add onto your seahorse. Everybody's seahorse will look different and that's the fun part. You can even add some spots if you like. Maybe your seahorse is camouflaging near some coral. How about that? Great job, friends. When you're done decorating your seahorse, go ahead and get your scissors and let's cut out the shape of the seahorse. So it's like a big curved line at the bottom that goes up and around. So just twist your paper carefully, up and around, back down, ta-da, up and around. Okay, now go up and over. Don't cut the fin off. I'm gonna leave the fin on there. Okay, come all the way to your top of your paper, snip off the excess, and then come back down and around the head and the snout. Do you know why they call these fish seahorses? Did you guess why? 
Yes, they do look like a horse that swims. Isn't that fun? All right. Good job, friends. Now we have our cute seahorse. Let's go ahead and glue it here on our page and make sure the tail is here by the seaweed so your seahorse doesn't float away. You know the the currents of the water, they push the seahorse from side to side because the seahorse is very small and light. So it's pretty smart. It'll hang on to the seaweed and they'll even hang on to each other so they don't float away from each other. Isn't that cool? All right, let's go ahead and place our seahorse down. Rub, rub, rub. Very nice. And if you like, you can go ahead and trace this part of the fin so that it completes your picture. If you like, it's okay, you don't have to. But if you like, you can go ahead and make that line a little bit stronger. Very nice, friends. Let's go ahead and sign our name at the bottom because we are amazing artists and we are learning so much about ocean animals. Okay, it's time for a symphonic seahorse page. This is another review, so we can make the dots and count with our marker. You can get your counting dots, you can get your cubes, any way you like to count. If you know these in a snap, that's fun too. All right, friends, let's try three plus four. Three plus four more. How many dots do we have all together? Seven. Great job. Let's try three plus six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three plus six equals nine. How about four plus four, friends? Ooh, it doubles. Four plus four. That's right, that equals eight. And zero plus nine. Well, we're not adding anything to nine, so ta-da, we know that's nine. Zero plus nine equals nine. How about one plus six? That's right, it's seven. Six plus two. Six, seven, eight. Six plus two equals eight. We have two plus five. That's right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two plus five equals seven. And four plus five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four plus five equals nine. Let's read our addition sentences together. Three plus four equals seven. Three plus six equals nine. Four plus four equals eight. Zero plus nine equals nine. One plus six equals seven. Six plus two equals eight. Two plus five equals seven. Four plus five equals nine. Great job, friends. You can either leave it here inside of your math time with Mrs. Ida's pack, or if you would like, you can snip it off Put some glue in the corners and glue it to the back of your project so it will stay all together for Seahorse Day. All right, I'm gonna put that on the back of my project. So I put my dots of glue, I center it, press it down, ta-da! Now I know where my work is. I sure hope you had fun learning about seahorses. I know I did. Thanks, friends. Bye-bye.